Okay, so we're going to work on forcing people to post their hand on the mat so you can isolate it on. Right? If you look at like the judo textbook, Kodokan Judo, it talks about joint locks in this way. It's a mobilization. Right? So think about that every time you go to submit somebody and ask yourself, have I immobilized the person in the joint? Right? So, you know, that's just kind of like how I look at it. It's like, it's called an immobilization. Well, can you, are you still able to mobilize your joint and move? Right? So I want to minimize that as much as possible. We talk about things like slack removal, um, you know, the end of the lever, things like that to, to get better control. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at that. Let me start in my guard. There's three ways we can break posture with our legs. Okay, so one, I pull horizontally this way. All right, like this. Here's the Udi Gatami. You can put your legs in one or two spots. You, your arch of your foot contours to his hip well, so you can pinch your knees like this. He can still twist his arm, so I like to reach over and immobilize the joint further by grabbing that tendon. Okay? Here. Boom. Right? A lot of, a lot of people do things like this or, or whatever. He can turn his arm is the problem. All right? If he does turn his arm, we're going <laughs> to grab it like this. Move my hips. Look, this is a great option. Hey, like Mr. Green, this is his preference. If you like Pali Tudo Guard, Put your foot up here by his ear, okay? You do not have the same kind of control going across his back of this posture with your leg bent like this. If you want to control him, I straighten my leg when I go across the back. So either contour your foot to the hip and pinch or belly tuto guard up here. Now look, I'm just going to grab his hand and pull it to my chest and move my hips. People like kind of mess this up by turning up or going like this. Keep it in tight and move your hips forward. Okay, and look here. I'm milking the mouse. That's it, thank you. There's a wrist lock here. So that's posture break one. Look, Boop. right here. If he does roll it off, which he's trying and I stopped it. There. Posture break two is he finds good posture here, right? So, tuck your hips a little bit. Yeah, yeah, let your shoulders relax. Good, so I'm pulling and it's not really working. So I'm gonna extend my legs and raise. Oh, there's the hands again. Here, here. Okay. There's that tendon grip, right? The wrist lock right there. If he rolls it out, we'll get back in here into this American he's already tapped. So if you cannot pull them horizontally forward and down, all right, he's got good posture, extend your legs and raise them. Boom. Look how I'm managing, if like there was punches involved, I'm managing potential damage and distance too, because I need to throw the foot on the hips or up here by his ear and get a little bit further away from him, just a little bit, but that hand on the bicep, same way we teach on the triangle, okay? So I've got this arm isolated, you can roll it off yourself. Go straight to the Americana. The third way, he's got good posture. Reach up here and grab his key like this. Okay. Now I'm gonna swing my hips like this. All right, like almost in a little U shape. Okay, side to side. So it's one's horizontal, one's vertical, and then one's lateral with my hips. So here. Right there, okay? This is wrist lock territory right here on the neck. Cool. All right, or you grab the tendon, it's Udi Gatami, straight arm lock. If he rolls it off your neck, grab the hand, pull it to your chest, move your hips. Americana, Udi Garami. So straight arm lock's Udi Gatami. Americana's Udi Garami. If you wanna watch a John Donahue video later. All right, any questions? 
three posture breaks. One, two.